Here I'm just using a standalone hard disk enclosure which serves as a network device as well as a um, device you can plug into your TV with HDMI and watch um, 1080p videos. So um, I'm just powering this ID drive. This was pulled from the Pioneer 530H and uh, interestingly um, under the crystal disk info it only says a uh, caution it doesn't um, say that um, it's in a really really bad way um, so uh, I'll show you the screen now so it's quite interesting to look at this so this is the drive you can see it's 160 gigabytes and um, there's some warnings here so there's a reallocated sector count um, that's looking a bit high um, there's also current pending sector count and uncorrectable sector count so these are sort of things that you get when a disk starts to uh, to die on you um, what's interesting actually is this up here so we can see that it's had a power on count of just over 8,000 times and a power on hours 86,273 hours so it's done its time and um, the drive I put in in its place hopefully isn't as uh, as worn out as this one um, so uh, I thought you'd be interested I'll take a look at the other disk now which was the 540HX one so I've just turned it on now this one um, did sound worse when it was in the player and um, since I took it out as well it does seem to be um, a little bit ratty, so I don't know if it's even going to show up on Crystal uh, Disk Info, uh, but I'll take a look now. So, unfortunately, it looks like it is totally dead. This disk, so this was um, the earlier machine that I might mention in the video, and uh, basically, this is one that I repaired earlier. Um, oh, it does, it does come up actually. Ah, I've been caught out here. But um, a lot less hours, so I'm really surprised that um, that this one is um, is not in a very good state. So um, it says power on hours eight thousand two hundred sixty one, so significantly less than the one inside the five thirty H. So um, what I might try to do with both these drives is I'll reformat them and. Um, see if I can um, do any sort of saving of things to it or will they just basically fall over. Um, the other thing I could do is before I do that I could have a look at um, seeing if I could take anything off the drive so the drives um, are in a different format to regular Windows and Linux I believe I think they're in some kind of raw format so um, I, shall, uh, I shall look at that first but um, I thought you might be interested to see the sort of hours and I guess sometimes maybe things get a bit of a knock um, like this drive might have had a bit of a knock and that's why it stopped working but um, potentially you could try to do some deep formats and um, you know some lots of writes and write sort of ones or zeros to the whole disc and then um, and then try to reuse it in the player but um, yeah I because I've got a few of these hanging around anyway, it's probably not necessary. So uh, yeah, I just thought you'd be interested in that. So on the on the other drive, it was um, it was quite amazing, really, wasn't it? The sort of eighty six thousand odd <laughs> hours. So um, yeah, pretty long time. So just approximately, um, that disc would have been in for around ten years, or actually running um, for ten years which is um, not too shabby. So I'm just using ISO Buster 4.8, which I've downloaded just to see what's on the disc, whether or not it's worth um, taking stuff off. So this was um, a second hand machine and um, it seems like it was used quite some time ago. Um, and then obviously maybe just stopped working after not that many hours. So it might be quite, interesting if I can get any of this stuff off I might have to uh, pay for a proper version to do that um, I'm yet to find out